Hey and welcome to Never Going To Be The Aragon. So in this video, I'd like to go over my Paladin tanking perspective for the new trial so I can demonstrate how you should be doing it. So initially, we'll just have Palavor theme with Velindra and they'll be considered undead and we just have to go and make sure we have the aggro at the beginning. Initially, I wasn't exactly very well orientated whether I would take the aggro or the other tank would take the aggro at the beginning. I was annoyingly on a phone call with a bunch of friends for this beginning phase, so we weren't that well coordinated. But you can see nobody's dying, so no big deal. And we can make sure to call artifacts at the right time and get the burst damage in. And I totally forgot about that. Again, I was on a phone call and not paying attention whatsoever. All you really have to do as a paladin tank is, you can see I have no aggro right now, but that's because Buffy has it. Now, ideally you'd both be in the same party and that way you can actually see your allies tanks buff bar and then you can see exactly that they let's say have the aggro and not some other dps now we are this late into the phase so it's not that hard to lose the aggro dps just have to kill the supports here now and i just help keep them alive by casting my shield of faith as a tank this first phase is very straightforward all you're going to have to do is make sure you time the switch right. So we're going to go skip ahead a little bit and you can see I take the aggro here and mainly when you have the aggro, whenever he hits you with his claw strike, you can see we get like a bleed debuff in the top right there with our buff bar. It's kind of that red tier and you can see we have three stacks of it already and we can see he just bit us, which gives us even more stacks of some other debuffs, which also cause damage over time effect. So what you want to make sure to do is to not take too many. You can see the amount of heal we just gave to everybody there. And that was sure through our shield of faith daily power using the sheltering light feet matched with it. And you can see because I have so many bleed stacks, I had five there, you keep taking damage over time. So you want to make sure you're switching at the right time. And Basically, what you want to do is switch as soon as the other tank has no bleed stacks. So when I run out of bleed stacks, I take the aggro back and he, Buffy, will do the same or your paired tank. Now, you don't have to run with two paladin tanks. You can run with fighters as well. Barbarians, oh, it's a, it's a lot harder to hold aggro. You generally want to be your secondary tank then as a barbarian. But here we have seven stacks of bleed. Yeah, um, again, not coordinated in Discord with a call, so I couldn't call the switch. We're not in the same group either. So it was me just relying on Buffy to time the switch. We, we nearly die here. You can see the amount of damage you take over time. I don't have aggro. I'm not getting hit by anything except by the bleed over times that I had stacked up. I'm very fortunate we have some decent healers and I never die here. So that's wonderful. And um, then we managed to burn down the boss enough that we phase him and we proceed on. And then we can yeah, go on to the later phases of the trial. So here we get our grapple abilities and we just jump hopping between each of the islands pretty straightforward until you group up at the group checkpoint here by the barrier. And once you're all gathered, you'll go and get teleported onto the arena. And what you want to do here is, again, one of you will take the drag glitch. So I'll take Palavorthine and somebody else will take Valindra. I mean the tank. So I've taken Palavorthine here, we're calling artifacts. I need to make sure I'm holding aggro. He rotates around a bit, says I did lose it, but I smite again early enough before he does any damage. And then the DPS have to spread apart with those red AOEs. Again, I lose it, but I smite again, so no big deal. And again, you need to pay attention to your bleed stacks at four here. So I'm going switching over to Valindra while Buffy, the other tank, goes and switches back over to Palavorthine. And that way you need to keep on top of that as well we're not in the same group ideally we would be and then we'd also be able to see so ideally again you're in a voice chat and you can actually 
coordinate between each other when you want to be switching because it's pretty terrible when Valindra gets right next to Palavorthine because you end up then with DPS taking a lot of reflected damage because whenever you hit Valindra you'll also take damage back until she's not shielded like this phase we call our artifacts we just have to burn her down and that's this phase so let's go and skip on to the next phase if you have enough DPS you can see you can pretty much two phase this if you have really good DPS you could one phase this getting Valindra from full to zero I move the red don't follow please Okay, and back to the dragon. I take the dragon. Hypo, I'll be okay. No, maybe not. I'll be okay. Yeah. <laughs> Fluffy switch. You need to switch, Buffy? No, no, wait. Okay. Okay, now. Okay. Have him. Move him back a bit. Forward. Thank God they fixed that push. Okay, group, stay group, stay group, together, group, group, together, stick, okay, back to artifacts, move the red, everything you got, let's go, keep on him, move it. So once you get Belindra down to that 0% threshold, about 5%, she'll, she'll go out of the arena and she'll be gone. You can see this, we have this red area with the double arrows. Generally as a tank you don't get it, but if you do, make sure you're away from everybody. We can see it's not actually working right now because Valindra is not here. Anyway, what you're going to have to do is make sure one tank has Palavorthine. You can see again he's shielded and every time we hit him we'll also take damage. So there's not much point hitting him with your at will. Again, you'll hear you'll have a phase with those Thean supports. You'll also get adds with it this time. So one of the tanks needs to be coordinated that they are have somewhat of an AOE capability of taking aggro against multiple enemies. And that's what Buffy's doing here. I'm just taking the dragon, trying to orientate him so he doesn't go and attack the DPS. But then we switch again as well when I get in like four bleed stacks so I don't burn out. And otherwise the DPS are just burning down the phylactery, jumping between them. But again, priorities when the Thane supports are up, you're killing those. Again, I have a document with all the different mechanics. There's not a lot you have to pay attention to as a tank. You can pretty much stand in a lot of the red areas and be very well forgiven. You can see we're taking lots of damage here. We have these bleeds. We have like six stacks. We need a switch with Buffy and yeah. When we do that, then we can get those bleeds to expire. Here we, we successfully completed that phase three, as you would call it, with the phylactery. And now we get Thean supports again, and we can actually hit the boss. We don't get damage reflected, and Buffy's there trying to take as many of the adds as he can so they don't go and kill the DPS. I'll do a bit of a, my part here as well, just making sure also to move the Dracolich away from the DPS that need to kill those supports. Otherwise, they might just end up being targeting the dragon instead of the support and it gets 
kind of messy there and then just calling artifacts here this lightning you don't have to worry about it too much as a tank you can just face tank it by sitting in it as a dps of course you gotta dodge the heck out of there just try and hold your shield while you're within it or you get knocked like this you can see we had a bleed over time and holding up our shield just burnt it with our bleed so we wouldn't have any shield for the lightning so we can just move out of it he'll then phase regularly here where he'll just fly off somebody will get the red he'll jump back down and then a big mechanic is the push he might then roar you can see here you want to you want to make sure you're next to him and have enough room behind you that when you get pushed back now this is the entire phase and you're going to have to get him from full down to no hp now one mechanic as a tank you want to really watch out for is he has a fling ability he stuns you throws you back and there's nothing you can do about it all you can do is make sure there's enough room behind you that when he flings you that you don't go off the platform so always make sure you're fighting the boss around the middle and there's enough room behind you because of that fling ability again we're just getting these 10 supports and i have my daily up so whenever i get healed all my allies also get healed and that's absolutely one of the best dailies to be using there to make sure people ain't dying again we get the same phase there where the dracolich pops back down and he's going to go and push us and here's the fling ability as you can see so you always need to make sure you have enough room behind you to get flung as the tank and that's the main priority here you don't even have to worry about switching with the other tank the other tank could have died for all you care the only thing is you do want the other tank when you have all of the ads spawning in because you will regularly get that so what i'm doing is i'm just tanking palavor Thing while the other tank takes a snooze until those ads appear that's going to be the rest of this phase and i'm going to let you guys spectate it we took quite a while here as we didn't have much damage in the party but this has been all the mechanics you really need to see from here on i'm just going to let me call it this out basically we're in a discord you can hear our voices and you can hear the congratulations when we do actually beat the thing so again hopefully this has been somewhat insightful to you guys as for tanking this trial it shouldn't be a whole lot different across all the other tanks of course as a fighter you're not going to be as forgiven as much in terms of losing aggro because you don't have an an infinite pool of smites as you would on a paladin so again, if I presented this well, consider leaving the video a like. If you're new around here, consider subscribing and enjoy the rest of the video. Yeah, but look at those. It's Go for the supports ASAP. I need to rotate him. So watch out, don't be in front of him. Any spots left? Well, nope. Leave so with the buff and then artifacts. Artifacts quickly. And get your burst off. Dodge. And make sure I have room behind me so I'm gonna look I'm turning in, watch out. Okay. Move him to the outside. Okay. Watch out for a push, if any. Okay, push. Lightning, Stodge. Go for the supports. Supports. Don't be afraid to use your dailies or time visions. Soon, faster they're gone, the better. I move. I move the dragon away from the two supports on the other side. If he'll ever move his lazy ass. Okay, he's gone. Oh, so many supports are still alive. Two. One. Okay, I'll move him to the outside if I can. I move it slow. Stick. Watch out. Uh, okay, no push and uh, artifacts. 
Behind him, dodge lightning. Don't stay in front, never in front of him. If you're ever in front, just dodge around. I need to make sure I have room behind me, so I rotate him. Lightnings and watch out. Room to the edge. Avoid lightnings. Watch out for a push. Okay, group up behind him. And artifacts. Dodge lightning. That's Go for the sports. Okay, done. Okay, good. Watch the lightnings. Lightning scan. It flies away. Watch the lightnings. Move him to the edge. Watch out for push. Lightnings. And move towards him and artifacts. Don't be in front, never in front. Go for the supports, go for the supports. One support there and the other one's dead. I bring the dragon over here. Just two more supports left. He's gone, kill the supports and the adds. Head, 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 head. I bring the dragon to the edge. Okay, watch out for a push, if any, otherwise watch out for him attacking you in front. Don't be in front. Okay. Dodge the lightnings. I move him a little, and then get behind him, dodge lightnings, and artifacts. Lightnings, dodge, dodge, dodge. Okay, he's away. Oh. Lightnings. Move him to the edge. Watch out for a push. Lightnings. Don't stay in front. Push. Group up. Watch out lightnings. Lightnings. That's push and go for the supports. I help heal. I move the boss a bit. Go for the supports, yeah, yeah, go for yeah, here, supports. Where I, where I am, here's one more. Oh, okay. That's Lightnings. bad. Lightnings. Come back for artifacts. I 
I should have enough room behind me. Okay, lightning, start, start, start. Big push, and he's gonna fly away again. Okay, he's away. Kill the ad. Lightnings. Move him to the outside. Okay, watch out for a push. Lightnings. Push. Oh no. Don't have a push. <laughs> it's soon. I get flinged. It's Go for the sports. Sports. Use dailies and tunnel visions. Get him killed ASAP. I move the boss over here. I rotate him. Watch out. Don't be in front of the boss, watch out. He's away. Kill the remaining support. Go, go, go. Oh, my first death. Lightnings. <laughs> nice one, subside. Okay, get to the boss. Lightnings and artifacts. Behind him. Never in front. They're behind him. Pull him faster, faster, faster. Lightnings, dodge. I have enough room behind me, I guess. I'm gonna rotate Ooh. him a bit. Oh my god, now he... Nice. <laughs> <laughs> okay, GG. Nice. Yeah, that place was easy. Now it was really a good round. Well done. We are ready. Because, because all the ads got controlled. That, that was great. Yeah, that was wonderful. Nice. <clears throat> Congrats, guys. Good. Thank you! Thank you again for watching and goodbye for now!